Today I'm going to show you how to make a prickly pear jack-o'-lantern cactus that glows in the dark. This super simple tutorial will be the perfect addition to any indoor or outdoor Halloween decorations. So join me for this super simple tutorial. To begin making our Halloween cactus, we need insulation foam board. Now they sell these sheets in four foot by eight foot sections and we need a thickness of one inch. Once you get your board, you start drawing out shapes for the cactus with a marker. Then we're going to cut it with a jigsaw and then we're gonna sand it. Super simple, so let's get started. And that's it. It just took us a few minutes to draw all the shapes we want. Now we're gonna get our jigsaw. We have a regular wood blade attached to the jigsaw and we're gonna cut them all out. Once we're done, then we're just gonna start sanding the edges. Super simple. I wanted to take a moment to share with y'all the newest children's book I've written. It's called Oliver and the Lost Flame, and it's a Halloween story based on a young pumpkin named Oliver and his quest to save his town after their enchanted flame was snuffed out, leaving the town of Pumpkin Patch in disarray and afraid. This book is rated for children 3 to 10 years old, and it's available on Amazon via paperback. The book is also available internationally and has been printed in English, Spanish, and French. So if anyone wants to support me or read it to their kiddos, go check it out. Now that we have our shape, all we have to start doing is sanding the sides. So I'm going to be using 40 grit sandpaper. You can use just a sheet of sandpaper to start smoothing all these edges over here. I also have a sander. I'm going to use a sander to make it easier. With the 40 grit sandpaper, we're just going to get rid of these hard edges. This is what you should have once you're done. You see, the edges are nice and smooth on both sides. It was perfect. Now I got a pencil and I'm drawing a basic jack-o'-lantern face to it. You could also use a jigsaw and go all the way through. The issue is I want to use glow-in-the-dark paint and it's not going to be as dramatic with it being hollow like this, but you could do it like this. I did this with just a jigsaw and I used a marker to outline the face. This way, we're going to be using a Dremel tool. And this little carving bit over here is barely visible right here because this is adjustable, okay? So with it being barely visible, we're only going to make an indentation into this area. So these low areas we're going to paint with this glow-in-the-dark paint so it can be hit with a black light and I think it'll be very dramatic that way. In this situation over here, you would have to paint the inside with black light, but because of the angle, not everything would be lit up and it would be less dramatic, I feel. So we're gonna do it this way. We're only gonna go down maybe an eighth of an inch into the surface, wear a respirator, wear some eye protection, some hearing protection, and let's get to carving. This is what we're left with, you see? This will be perfect to use some glow-in-the-dark paint. And to attach it to another little leaf like this, we're going to be using these bamboo skewers that we have here. Bam, just like that. So now we're gonna paint it with some latex exterior paint. You can get any color green. And we're gonna paint everything. Remember, you, this part over here is going to be with the glow-in-the-dark paint, so it's probably gonna be orange, or yellow, so you don't actually need to worry about painting the inside because we're gonna use the other paint, but make sure you paint the front and the back. All right, this is what it should look like once it's been painted green. And look how we painted the inside of it with this yellow luminescent paint. Now this only works when there is a black light shining on it. So it's not going to naturally just glow from the sun. So we'll need to purchase a black light, maybe a 30 or 50 watt black light that'll face this and it'll make it shine. So this paint over here, I'm gonna link it in the description below. We also have these bamboo skewers right over here, but these are too long, but they were on sale, so what I'm doing is I'm cutting them in half. We're going to use this 
to pierce the bottoms over here. Bam, go all the way in. And then we're going to start assembling it. Bam, just like this. Whatever shape you want, you can start doing it. We have our hot glue gun to put a little bit of hot glue whenever we put the skewer in so it can reinforce it and then start sticking them like this. We also cut this round right over here. This is two inches in diameter. This is insulation foam board. And I'm using this because we're going to grab our pot, which is right there. And this is gonna go on the inside. We're just gonna push this in and then this will be the base. And of course, we will use more of these skewers here, just like that, to attach the biggest pieces first like this, bam. And then you can start assembling it. I think I'm gonna make two different growths, but it might just be one big one. We'll see how it turns out. So assemble how you want them to look first on a flat surface. Once you get the style and shape you want, then start piercing them with the bamboo skewers. Do this before attaching it to the base because we want everything solidified before we start pushing down on the base. Ooh. 